Hi, this is Russ Anderson. I'm going to demonstrate the single frame alignment capabilities of Synthize 2007 and a half. So I'll start by opening up this digital still camera image of the front of a house. And we're going to switch over to the lens panel and turn off the grid because we don't need it. And we're going to zoom in here and start setting up some lines. I think this first line is going to be parallel to the z-axis. And we're running synthize in the z-up mode here, but we can also run in the uh, y-up mode for Maya or Lightwave users. Let's set up another line that's going to be on the x-axis. And you'll notice it has an arrow that's uh, the direction of the line going from the negative coordinates to the more positive coordinates. We could swap the direction if we wanted. But that helps prevent uh, things getting upside down and switched around. So we'll set up another line that's going to be parallel to the x-axis. And we're going to set up another line down here. And we're going to make this one on the z-axis with a length. And you'll notice we've got a spinner over here to set what that length is. We're going to say this is about 6 feet. So th this is the way to introduce a scale into this scene as well as setting up the alignment. So the line that gets used to select the overall sizing has to be on one of the coordinate axes. Now we've got a couple of parallel lines here and that's enough to let Synthize figure out what the lens field of view is. But so far we haven't really done a great job of distributing them through the scene since they're really so close together it's not going to be able to get very good information. So we'll set up some other lines over here and they'll be more widely distributed. This is going to be on the z-axis again. And I'm just zooming in and out with the uh, middle mouse button, by the way. You, can, you, know, you can just easily pan and zoom in and make sure you've got things in a reasonable spot. I'll do the same thing over here. This is kind of a uh, dicey edge over here just because it's uh, really the stone. And you know, clearly this gutter line is a lot more visible. But um, it's not necessarily all that perpendicular or parallel to anything. You know, the gutters, you can see that here's the gutter line up here. And it's actually intentionally slanted to be able to drain the water right. So kind of the message from this is that when you take a look at your shot, you need to pay attention to what things are really, really perpendicular versus things that are only sort of perpendicular, maybe. Um, and then just... Have a, have a little critical eye to the possibility that some things really aren't as perpendicular as you might like, you know, especially if they're being quickly carpentered together on set and so on. So now we've got some more widely distributed uh, lines in the scene. We can hit our align button down here and Synthize has gone and placed the camera into the scene. And you see it's sitting below the uh, level looking up a bit uh, towards our uh, top of the house there. Now what we can do, just to show what's going on, is just drop a object in, well, that's pretty big. We'll zoom in a little and just place it a little more exactly. So now you can see over in the lens view, you know, here are our lines, and the intersection between those two lines is where the, the origin is, has wound up being put. And you can see up here at the top the field of view has been calculated, and we're sort of all set to go. If this had been a nodal pan sort of uh, shot, you know, maybe from a tripod or a little crane's uh, pan and tilt head, um, Synthize would have gone and applied this coordinate system alignment to the entire length of the shot. So, you know, just based on that single frame. And another thing that can happen to you, if, if the things really aren't so perpendicular in the scene, sometimes you might not get the right solution that you want immediately. So in Synthize, you can just hold down the control key, and then when you push the align button, it's going to give you the best solution first, which is the one you normally get by default. And if that isn't the right solution, you can just say no, and have it show you the next solution. So you can keep on sequencing through the different possible solutions. And usually it's only going to be, you know, maybe the second or at worst, the third one. 
But as you can see, they, they get increasingly wild. So it's just a handy way to go and, and get the other solution when your data really isn't all that great. So that's uh, pretty much what we've got in the single frame alignment capability. Hope you enjoyed the show. I invite you to go download the demo and give this all a try yourself. Thanks a lot.